Janice was my least favourite person on a level with Rodney Marsh. Janice saw me as competition, purely and simply. She saw me as competition. You know, whatever names that she drops or any stuff that she says, I've been there and done it and I don't fall for it. And so, whereas some of the girls, like Keris is sitting there and Anna, wide-eyed, listening to her beauty tips, you know, come on. Anybody can go and have endless plastic surgery if that's what you want to do. If she'd gone out today, I would have been absolutely courteous. And she was discourteous and I think it says it all, really. There's this mean streak that actually, however compassionate I feel towards her, would always stop me being a friend. I, I, I didn't appreciate her at all. There was nothing about Rodney that made me happy. Uh, he was a big disappointment to me. But when I first met him, I thought he was a great guy. And then I realised that it was just a sham. He wants to appear to be a spiritual guru, and yet he couldn't even sit and meditate without making fun of me. How spiritual is that? You know, he was, he, he, he's got old-fashioned views. He's, he's also very naive about what really goes on in the world. I think having Christopher Biggins there has got me through the last few days. I mean, two nights ago, I went to bed sobbing my eyes out. And uh, he just held me and, you know, kissed me goodnight and calmed me down. Dad! <laughs> Something very special happened between me and him. And I know we're going to be very close afterwards. We've already got our first dinner planned with mutual friends. We know where we're going. We're going to do it the week we get back. You know, there is real love there. And, and I know he was totally upset when I went out. I know I was too. In fact, I feel a bit emotional because I know that um, he's going to find it really hard without me. <laughs>